One Eurozone country that has been particularly hit hard by the debt crisis is Spain. Spain is in the midst of a recession and the country is grappling with record youth unemployment rates. With more on that particular situation in that country, we turn to Ebru TV Spain correspondent Marta Ortiz. She joins us via Skype from Madrid. Welcome aboard. Why are the youth unemployment levels in Spain so much higher than the other Eurozone countries? First of all, high youth unemployment rate up to 52% according to a Spanish Institute of Statistics is in part a result of the general economic slump across the country with a record high jobless rate over 27%. But this is also a consequence of inflexible labor market rules that make entry into the workforce difficult for young people, many of them qualified. Companies are very demanding at the moment, looking for experienced people willing to work for very low salaries, preferred age between 26 and 35 years old, according to a Spanish human resources company. The lack of job stability is prompting many students to emigrate for a job opportunity. This is feeling fears that Spain is undergoing a brain drain. Basically, this is why Spain is suffering even more youth unemployment, which also hit other Eurozone states. An employment rate in the European Union is over 26 million. Among those, nearly 6 million people are under the age of 25 years old. Amarna, let me ask you this. How is Spain's government responding to pressure from the EU authorities to meet its target deficits and implement these reforms? The government tried to meet the Eurozone financial targets through a bucket of uh, tough austerity measures, including tax cuts and business-oriented measures. The implemented reform plan, which should have delivered clear improvement so far in the reduction of the budget deficit, has not gotten off a good start. Latest budget data, according to the European Commission, confirm that Spain missed its deficit limit target for this year. Due to Spain's difficult economic situation, Madrid has already been given two more years to reach his deficit reduction target to meet European Commission demands under the legal ceiling of 3% of GDP. In return, Spain should meet more timely reforms. These include national employment plan to, to bust curation, control of budget stability and more reforms such as taxes, VAT and public pensions. A lot of information there. Thank you, Marta. And that is our report for this week. For everyone here at the Everu Television Network, I'm Matt Locker. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.